Welcome to Collections Revealed. My name is Yulia Bodanu and I am the curator of the Yolo County Historical Collection at the Gibson House and Property. In rural farming communities, the day started at sunrise and ended at sunset. However, the bright spot in the day for most farmers was afternoon tea. Afternoon tea was a ritual that came about to break up the monotony of the workday um, and it evolved relaxation and socializing for most people. Uh, this first started among middle and upper class families, but then spread through um, to the general population uh, in Yolo County. Um, tea was mostly grown in China and was imported to England primarily to replace the morning drink of gin. Um, so, the <laughs> so the start of the day could be a little rough sometimes, so tea offered that pick-me-up to um, start your day off on the right foot. Here we have a Chinese teapot um, that was used in Woodland's very own Chinatown in Dead Cat Alley. The Chinese, the influx of the Chinese population also meant that there was an increase in port of tea to the region. With the growing Chinese population, there was also the rise in the import of tea accessories such as teapots, teacups, sugar bowls, and creamers to expand the ritual of tea service. tea service manufactured in Limoges, France. As you can see, it has a teapot, creamer, and sugar container. The ritual of afternoon tea allowed women in the Victorian era, who were largely confined to the home, to entertain both men and women in a relaxed atmosphere. Tea flowed freely, ideas flowed freely, and town gossip also flowed freely. That's kind of where the expression spilling the tea comes from. floral tea set uh, made of Haviland, China. Ceramic production was an important part of the early 20th century. Opening March 16th is side-by-side -side, historic and contemporary ceramics at the Gibson House. The exhibit will feature items from the Yolo County Historical Collection paired with contemporary ceramic artists' works. The exhibition is concurrent with the National Council on Education for Ceramic Arts Conference also starting in March. We hope to see you there. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time on Collections Revealed.